Um, Patty, do you think they ever made a crossover with uh, Kirby and Lindsay Lohan called Kirby Fully Loaded? Hello, welcome to Graphic Gamer. My name is Logan, and this is Patty. Hi. <laughs> and we're playing Spyro the Dragon. Patty, where are we at in Spyro right now? Uh, we are in the Beast Makers world. Oh. And we're about to go to a bunch of different places. Uh, I think we're gonna start with Terrace Village right here. So this, this is like the third hub? Yeah, uh, I think, or maybe it's the fourth. I do think Treetops is in this area, though. Oh, Treetops. Does that sound familiar to you? Is this the right area? I, I don't remember well enough. I mean, if Treetops is going to be anywhere, this kind of would make sense. Pretty sure the it is. The level is full of trees, and it's dark, and that's what this area is full of. We'll get there. Uh, Treetops is notoriously stupid, because to get to certain areas, you have to do a bunch of weird running back and forth and around in circles and whatnot. Well, we'll see that when we get there. Yeah. But right now we're doing Terrace Village. We're doing Terrace Village. How many more... Oh. Yeah. How many more uh, hub worlds are there? I don't know. You're the expert. We're only 29% done with the game, but it, it wasn't doing like 100% along the way. Yeah. So there's not really much information I can get out of that. Depending on how uh, quickly we go through this game, we might go back and get some of those, some of those things we missed. Yeah, we'll see where we're at. I'm gonna try to make this quick-ish, but I'm easily distractible and lose track of where I'm supposed to be going. You have been running through it pretty quickly, though. Um. Like I would tune out for like half a second, and then we'd be in a whole other world, and you've already saved like twelve dragons. Yeah. Um, so, we were talking about, oh, you got lit up. Sure did. We were talking about some of the, uh, Steam games oh, we got before the recording. Yeah. They had a, they have a sale going on, and so we decided to pick some up. Man, you guys are just straight up zapping you. Is that doing health damage to you? Yeah. Okay. Um, but I've been finding these little chicken guys, and, uh, poor they, chickens. yeah, the chickens turn into butterflies when you catch them on fire. Naturally. Yeah. Sparks is greedy because he didn't need to eat that butterfly, the second one. Yeah. But he did anyway. Yeah. It's unnecessary. He could have saved it. Oh, he wasn't thinking about that. Okay. Oh. oh. Well, tell me about your uh, Steam games. So one of the Steam games I got was Airborne Kingdom. And it's pretty fun. Like, it looks... Visually, it's really nice to look at. It looks like you're on a map and there's just a bunch of islands and stuff but the premise of the game is that there used to be this flying city kingdom in the air and eventually it went away and so you're tasked with bringing it back to life and so you have to run along and I mean, you, you, you ran right into I it. know I tried to be patient but I didn't wait long enough you're like ooh electricity but yeah, so your goal is to, to fly around, to build up this city, maintain, a, like, the lift. It's it's not a super brutal game. Like, it's resource management. You have to, like, get coal and food and water and everything. But all the resource pools that are around, they regenerate over time. Got zapped again. Did you get zapped nope. again? No, I almost... Oh, oh got zapped that time. Yeah. I thought you got zapped, but then I noticed that uh, Sparks was still his normal color. What is his normal color if you're always injured, though? <laughs> well, I guess that's a fair point. Maybe blue's my normal color, because I'm always a little bit hurt. So, oh, do you need to talk about something? No. Oh, okay. Sure. But, what I'd really but yeah, the Airborne Kingdom... Sorry, I was just listening to Spyros. Oh, you're good. And Cyprin? It's siphon. We got all the dragons in this area. Oh, nice. See, that was quick. How many dragons are in the Yeah, dragon? I wonder if I should... Oh, oh like two. two. Okay. Should I... I guess I'm gonna exit the level, or should I go ahead and, like... You might uh, like, look around for a quick second. I mean, you were here for yeah, like, two I'll, minutes I'll and get to the end, done. at least, to yeah. where they, uh... Get those things. But yeah, you, you fly around, and you're supposed to uh, make friends with the 
other 12 kingdoms and kind of just unite the land type of thing. But each area you go to gets harder to survive in, like there's less resources. But you can fly back to the starting area. What? Nothing. Why did you just... Okay. I said fewer cemetery. Oh, we should. <laughs> <Brain works. laughs> Whatever. But you can always go back to the previous areas and get resources. It's just, it's really nice. And I spent... I think I spent like 10 hours playing it on one of the days off I had while we were watching some stuff. I played it for far too long. What was I playing? Oh, that strange horticulture game that you yeah. got me. Because that was also on sale. Yeah. Um, that one's pretty fun. I don't know. Did you see a lot of that one? Not really. I saw a little bit of glimpses of it. Um, so that one was like... You have a map, and you just have this little desk area where you can put all your clues and stuff you get, and <clears throat> every day you open your horticulture shop, and people come ask for certain plants, and you have to look up in your little plant encyclopedia and try to identify the plants based on the sketches, and then you That's give them cool. the plant, and then after that, someone might come deliver a letter that gives you a clue to somewhere on the map where you can find certain plants, so you're like... Collecting the plants, identifying them, giving them out, and then <clears throat> eventually you can start making elixirs out of your plants and you'll get a few elixir requests as well. But it was pretty fun. It's pretty um, neat. It was a little frustrating at the end because once I finished it. Oh, you got exploded. I sure did. Um, but once I finished it, I was like, okay, now I've got all of the plants identified. I'm gonna alphabetize them. And so I spent. There are 77 plants, by the way. And one of them, okay. one of my plants wasn't labeled, so I also had to go name by name to like figure out which one I had forgotten to label after I identified it. Um, and so I take that Pumba, Misty Bog. We're gonna go to Misty Bog next. Man. But after I had alphabetized them, I was like, okay, I'm gonna come back and I will. Uh, I guess just full requests. I thought that was gonna be part of the game. It's just like casual playing after that. But it, it just said, okay, continue where you left off, and then it showed me the credits again. Like, it just auto saved right before the credits. So That's I didn't even get annoying. to take advantage of my organized plants. Yeah, but there, there's multiple playthroughs of it, yeah. Oh, yeah, because you get to choose, like, there's this whole story. The storyline going on is basically that there's, like, a coven, I guess, um, called the Sisters, and they live in the forest, and someone. Um, poisoned their watering hole. Oh, someone Damn. poisoned their leader, I guess, and then they're trying to figure out who killed them. But then you get the choice to either like be to be their be on their side, be on like the occult specialist side that's against the coven, but also against the big baddies, or you can side with like. The people that are, I guess, have, like raised a monster of some sort. Wow. Um, cool. Yeah, two different options. Sorry, I, you said monster. I'm looking at all these creatures. Oh yeah, in like Spyro. These little like bird things. Like They're like trees, root, plants. roots of some sort. Because I, I. You see these, especially these old school games like this, and it's just these weird creatures. And I'm, I'm also gonna harp back on that Iggy's Wrecking Ball. Oh, like someone had to think those up. Like someone sat there and was like, "Well, what, what, what creature do we want to make? Let's let's make like a, a rutabaga, put a beak on him, and send him out to fight a, a tiny dragon." And someone was like, "Yeah, something like idea. It is." I'm in. Oh, I'm not even looking at the map. No, where? Talk to that ferret. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> Remember this. This is probably the most refreshing marshlands I've ever seen. Right? They're all usually so dark and like. And gooey. It's hard to see. Um, it wasn't on Steam, but it was on the PlayStation sale. I bought that Spirit Roots game. Oh, yeah. And that had a swamp area. Were you a little turnip boy? Yeah, I guess that's what he is. It's, it's robot turnip. 
You got killed by a plant beak monster. Unclear. Um, he bit your butt and you yeah. died. Yeah, I saw you getting uh, infuriated with that game the other day. Listen, I'm just not good at... I, what is that genre called where like... Platforming? Yeah, but like agility platforming. And it's not even... You, it doesn't even require that much skill. It's like on the lower end of those kinds of games, but it's so Flying. frustrating for me. I'm not the best of those. Oh. He got me again, Logan. He did get you again. Came out of the shadows and got me. Full Fledge ate you. It's a ninja. Zeke. Zeke. What a name for a dragon. I like that all the dragons You're look very different. And they He's... all seem to be like upright walking to on two legs. Bipedal. Bipedal? Yeah, I, I was purposely avoiding the word because I didn't know how to pronounce it. I just not know well, Then it. I'll mess it up. Yeah, um... But, except for Spyro. Like, is he the same kind- Oh, I don't have- I think it's because he's younger, isn't it? So I'll grow- Well, oh, I guess so, because I think in some of them there's, like, little baby dragons, and they walk around on four legs like Spyro, so maybe it's an age thing. Yeah, I think you're- just like a kid, like a, maybe a teenage dragon. Spyro the teenage dragon. He is definitely a teenager. He's super angsty. Oh yeah. And like they tell him stuff, and he just rolls his eyes, you know. But then the, the follow-up question to that is: you're helping all, you're like saving all these dragons. Why are none of them helping you? Yeah. Like the whole reason they were stuck in like stoned gym form, but yeah, jade form. We, why are we the only dragon that wasn't? It, cause he just didn't. Cause he just didn't zap you. I think we asked that at the very beginning. We did. Maybe it's just because like, oh, it's a kid. Yeah, like he could I'm totally kidding. help us. Yeah. Like if Spyro can take on Nas Nork, that dude can too. And you've got wizard dragons, and then you got nerds. We're oh, still missed one. You got nerd dragons. Do I? Need, I'll come back to it. Okay. I bet he's in a that house. Do a spin! There was a Ooh. different way that I could have gone. Ooh. Ooh. That's the other thing about that Spirit Roots game is like you can't see the whole area. It's very zoomed in. And so often there will be like two options for a path and it's hard to tell which one's going to be the one that brings you to the end or which one's genuinely like just an offshoot area where you can get some more of the little gem things. Yeah, the little... little... These little sun sperms. Yes, those. Very cute. Very cutie. There it is, blow Logan. That up. There it is. Did you blow that thing up right there? What thing? This? Yeah. Blow the dress. I don't have any, uh. Oh, there's one. Any sparks? Yeah, well, I'd want him because he'll pick up gems for me. That is and nice. I was annoyed at having to, like, get right on top of each of the Back gems. at full health. Well, good. It was yellow. Because I couldn't find any more chickens. Maybe you had a cluster of chicken. No, that was definitely just one chicken. Oh. Um. I like chickens. What's your favorite favorite chicken restaurant? My favorite chicken. You just look me. You just look me solid, I, dead stern in the I eye. I need to know. And ask me your fate. My favorite chicken restaurant. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Like. The ones we frequent are pretty different. I mean, yeah, they all have something different to offer. Like they have tiny little legs. Um, like Zaxby's has Skip really good days. sides. Yeah, Chicken Express is pretty solid. Chick Fil A is a classic, but we haven't gone to Chick Fil A ever. Yeah. Um. And then, I've heard that Charlie's has very good potato wedges. Are we going to Charlie's? Not together. I've only been there a couple times. But not with you. Maybe I had it once. There's one Can right down the, the street. Fairly close. Oh. oh, that Slim's chicken we went to that one time? Yeah, part? that one was really good. Yeah, we had one great experience and never went back. Well, because it was kind of far out of the way, right? It's it's a little bit out it's of the way. Uh, it's but I would say it's worth it. Yeah, I might hit that up. It's like 15 minutes away. Lyle! 
But you're right, these dragon designs are super sweet. Well, and they're just all over the place, though. It looks... This... So I wish I was into this game when I was a kid. Like, it's one of those games that, like, I missed, but wished I hadn't. But then coming back to it, well, back to it, coming to it as an adult when they did this remaster, I feel like I was able to appreciate it more than if I was a kid. Mm -hmm. it, it's a weird trade-off, right? Like, I don't get the nostalgia vibes of it, but I get the fresh look at all this cool stuff. They did a really good job on the remaster. Yeah. Like, I don't know how the big dragons looked in the original. Like, they looked as... Obviously, they didn't look as detailed, but... Yeah. As different from each other. As I they do now. I feel like they probably look about the same. Probably. I mean, they definitely they have something to base off of, right? Ooh. Oh, I think I was supposed to hit that one. Or... Hit what one? This one, I think I was supposed to... Oh, ram that. into that chest? Yeah. Probably. Can you still do it? Mm, I think I would have to get back up there again. Fair enough. I mean, I had... There's a reason I hate this level. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. seem as bad because we're not trying to 100% it right now, but like, some of the things are... Get that you go! Get that you go! Get that you Gems and Chickens is what I'm going to name my autobiography. Is... Mm, what? I was just thinking about this area, and I couldn't remember if that was one of the areas that I needed to jump off of. I'm pretty sure that is one of the ramps you need to hit in some capacity. Yeah. Did you get that yellow gem? Which one? Oh yeah, Sparks, Sparks must have got it. Sparks the Dragonfly. Isn't there a, like a small like handheld game of Sparks or something? I don't know. Well, I mean... I, no, I don't know about that, but there is in the third game, I think. Um, there are little mini games. Yeah, after the game, there's that Sparks mini game where you're just like strafing and killing everything. That was pretty fun. It's like a hop down shooter. Mm hmm. That's pretty neat. Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to do anything here. But it seems like these type of old games, like this one. Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank. Well, at least those two, anyway. They did spin-off games of their secondary characters. Yeah. Dax and Clank got their own individual games. Oh yeah, I have the uh, Daxter game. I never played it on PSP. I've wanted to play it. I should probably borrow it from you and play it sometime. You should. Oh, there's that little guy. It's, I mean, that is my jam. Oh, that one was unlocked. The key! A magic key I feel like chest. I can leave now that I've taken care of that. I just didn't want to leave while I had that key and knowing that like, I'd have to get it again here. How many dragons are, in the, how many dragons uh, are left? I forgot, let's see. Isaac. They buy of Isaac sometimes too. I believe our friend Allie is a fan of buying of Isaac. Get a confirmation on What is that? Oh, you've never seen it, have you? No. Wow. It's... It's very weird. It's a very bizarre game. So I probably shouldn't explain it too much. Maybe we'll we'll play it sometime. But it's essentially you're just it's a dungeon crawler. Okay. It's randomly generated, and you play as this kid Isaac. Oh, well, there she goes. I was gonna try to pause it and exit level midair. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny. But, yeah, and you're supposed to just try to escape this dungeon. Okay. And, like, your main boss is mom. And a bunch of other bosses, too. But it's it's crazy. We'll maybe look into it sometime. Alright, alright. Is it the kind of game that I would like? I don't know about you. <laughs> okay. I don't know about if you like it. I know there's I mean, a you know what kind of games stress of me out and what kind of games I don't like and stuff. Well, it's a it's a difficult roguelike okay, twin so stick shooter. No, so I wouldn't like it. Yeah, not particularly your jam, I would okay. say. But okay. Okay. Uh, take us to the entrance of the next area. Yeah, let me. And uh, we'll we'll call her for this step. There, Ooh, you almost said I know. There must be another area back here, right? 
metal head. Oh, he's like a, a boss guy. A boss yeah, guy? Yeah, you can do that. We'll do metal head next time if I can get Man, up there. You were... Can I even? I can't get up there. Can I? Go around. Turn around. Go up. Don't tell me what to do. Uh oh. I can't get up there either. No, look, look, this, yeah. Oh. Excuse me. You're excused. Thank you. <laughs> you can do it, Patty. You just gotta get to the entrance. I know. I'll get it later. I'll get it later. Yes. Blatant dragon murderings. Oh, I want all of this stuff. That's one thing I appreciate about you, Patty. You also likes to get okay. stuff. Metalhead. Metalhead. Here okay, next are. episode, we'll kill Metalhead. Okay. You say goodbye? Good work. I mean, goodbye. <laughs> Good work and goodbye. saying you know kirby fully loaded he sucks up people he's like it's good